The invasion has been billed as a battle between Russia versus Ukraine, but many from the Russian Canadian community are speaking out against the actions of their president back home. They are attending local rallies. This consulate was the site of a big protest this past Friday, and they are sharing their disgust on social media. They want their Ukrainian friends to know they stand with them. People are dying, and our friends are losing homes, and it's, it's, it's very hard to to be witnessing that and not being able to do anything. Daria moved to Toronto from Russia nine years ago. She has family back in Russia and friends in Ukraine. There is currently war happening. Whatever Putin would like to call it, it's not a military operation, it's a full-on war on Ukraine. We are against the war, we're against any civilian casualties. <laughs> While there are severe repercussions for Russians protesting in their home country, including jail time, many here in Toronto are sharing their support without fear. Rabbi Mendel Zaltzman, the CEO of the Jewish Russian Community Centre of Ontario, says speaking up isn't enough. It's very easy to sit at home and talk about terrible people and all the terrible things they do, and then at the end be very satisfied saying, I'm on the right side of things, my opinion is in the right place. But that doesn't actually achieve anything. We need to think about what we can do. And what we can do is perhaps lobby the Canadian government that they open doors for refugees, find a fund that you care about that is helping refugees in one city or in many cities in Ukraine. Yesterday, Alex Ovechkin, the Russian star of the Washington Capitals, who has posed for photos with the President Vladimir Putin in the past, spoke out about what's happening. I'm Russian, right? Um, sometimes, like, some, some, something I can control, you know, it's not in my hands. Um, how I said, like, I hope it's going to end soon and uh, it's going to be uh, peace in uh, both countries. And, uh, you know, um, I, don't, I don't control this one. Daria worries for Russia as well. It's also my country, you know. I know how the war is going to affect us. We're going to be in recession for the, the next, I don't know how many years. It's going to hurt everyone and we're going to pay for that, not the oligarchs, not the politicians. It's going to, my family is still back home, right? The Russian Canadian has been attending rallies and says she isn't going to stop lending her support to her Ukrainian friends here and in Ukraine. We're going to continue doing so until there's going to be some sort of resolution, peaceful resolution, hopefully. Rabbi Zaltzman says his community is here to help. I just hope that peace comes quickly. We did reach out to a few Russian community groups. Some did not get back to us, and others said they did not want to get involved. For City News, I'm Aliha Sheikh.